Hey everyone, my name is Chris, Connor, and welcome to an exciting tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to set up After Effects in order to optimize it. And on the second part, I'm gonna show you guys what are my render settings in order to give you the best quality in relation to the file size. Now, when you fire up After Effects, all the settings are on default. And that's fine, but from what I've seen online, like almost no one shows how to fix this i'm like why it's like one of the most important steps especially when you do color correction and color grading so yeah today we're gonna fix this so fire up after effect and you should be right where i am total darkness <laughs> um go here that says eight bits per channel and check this box um i don't really mind what your choice is right here i mean basically says what what do you want your timeline to be? Do you want frames or time code? I use time code and I always make it start at zero. So whatever. This is where the magic happens. Go to color settings. Go here and select either 16 bits or 32 bits. Now obviously 32 bits is higher quality. Go to the working space, scroll down and find HTTV Rec 709. Select it. Go to the first box, click it. Linearize workspace. Now, our project is done. The settings are optimized. If you press OK, you're pretty much good to go. But I just want to take some time to explain to you guys why we did what we just did. So, if you go to the web and go to Adobe and go to their guide, I guess, and go to the working color space section, they have these suggestions right here. So, let's see. We checked this one and it says, it's a good choice if you're making a movie for high definition television. Yes, we do. So thank you. Um, they have other selections. One says DVD, movie for the web, whatever. This is the best one. I think this is good as well, but I use this one. Now, that was easy. This is a bit harder to explain, but I'm going to try my best. 32 bits per channel is basically your dynamic range. And what this dynamic range is basically how many steps it takes, how many pixels, let's say, it takes from something to get from its brightest to its darkest value. Imagine you have an optical flare. Now, 32 bits per channel means that After Effects will use the highest dynamic range it has in order to create that flare and give you the best dynamic range between its bright value and its dark value. It's going to make this transition as smooth as possible. That's why we select this because it gives us the highest dynamic range we can have when we use light effects, color correction stuff, and all that stuff. So yeah. And the last thing we checked was linearized working space. Now, I don't know if you if you guys can read this section only if you're in full screen, but I'm going to read to you. It basically says that a linearized working space more accurately reflects how colors blend naturally and may correct halos and fringing when high contrast saturated colors are blending together. So imagine you have your composition and you have five adjustment layers with color correction and color grading effects. Now this thing will blend all these things together in the best possible way. That's why we do this. So push OK and now we're done. I'm just going to create a new composition just to have something to render. So, yeah. So, wow. Best movie ever. Look at look at the quality. Awesome. So, <laughs> what the f So, yeah. Let's say this is our masterpiece. I want to render the thing in the best possible way. Now, we've got composition, add the render queue. Go here, add pull module, select it. And you should be right here now. Go to Format, select QuickTime, go to Format Options, and make sure your video codec is H.264, yes, and quality, make sure it's 100 for the best quality ever, obviously. And you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to show you. Our column management has been updated since we did the initial selection, so you don't have to worry about anything in this section. So cool, if you have audio, select this one, format options, make sure it's uncompressed, it's going to give you the highest quality audio, 
everywhere. So, press OK, and you're good to go. Select this one, obviously, save it. Um, best toot ever. True story. Based on a fake one. Yeah. Look at this. Perfect. Save, hit the render, and you're probably gonna wait a lifetime until you'll hear the wonderful beeping sound of After Effects when it's done. So yeah, this is it guys. I know it was not the best dude, but I think it's important to know the basics before we can go any further. So yeah, in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how I do color correction and advanced color grading stuff. So it's gonna be epic. Tune in. Thanks for watching.